Ooh, I'm alive. Just want to make sure because sometimes my video freezes. Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Good night. Good whatever time you're watching this video. So, I just want to make a very quick, 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 quick video because, you know, people with attention spans are getting shorter. And, you know, most people watching YouTube are children. So, God bless the future. Anyway, I just want to make a quick video. And it's going to be very controversial about fashion trends that tend to look a lot like how trans women used to dress. So I know I know before ladies get mad at me because they love their eyelashes so super much. Let me just tell you how eyelashes, wigs, and fake bodies make you look like transgender women. I can totally understand. I don't get it, but I can totally understand how a 2020 man will fall for a transgender woman because what is the difference between what's the difference now? I have a few friends who have gotten their body done. They look fucking crazy. Yes, the, the chest to hips to ass radio is off the fucking chain. But I think God invented waists for a reason. I think a lot of you chicks need to keep your waist. But don't ask me. Plastic surgery and BBL is the number one killer of women in plastic surgery. And it also is the newest surgery to be done. So all you women out there getting experimented on, tell me how it goes. I just want to make a quick video about that because I feel like no one's addressing the issue that most women are starting to transition into transgender men. If you haven't noticed, check out the new trends of beauty, especially in the black community. Eyelashes, wigs. This used to be a thing that only my grandmother would do. Yes, yes, young people. A few years ago, only my grandmother would sport a nice little church wig or a welfare office wig or, you know, their good wig. Grandma's had about two to three wigs. She had her wants to roll the sets so and she can keep on her little white foam head. So, if you didn't know, now you know. Wigs have only been around. Well, they've been around forever. But only older women would wear them. It was a sign that you were going bald. Or maybe you were Jewish. It was just a sign that you were Jewish. And married, I believe. Anyway, who cares, right? So I just want to make a quick video. And tell me if you agree with me. A lot of you might not agree with me. Especially women who love the wigs and eyelashes. All I'm seeing is a lot of women who look like transgender women that I met in the village early 2005. Just saying. And the part that's getting really sad is the transgender women are looking better than the women now. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comments about women turning into trans women. You're going to have to change these alphabets. Oh, I don't think I'm a W anymore. I might be an F now, a feminine. I, I don't fucking know. You guys tell me about your ABCDGs. I'm not trying to make fun of something. But you know, in order to get through shit, you have to go through shit. So I choose to go through it with a smile. Have a great day. I hope everything's well. Don't buy no fucking eyelashes and wigs. You look like a man. Everyone's not telling you, but you look fucking crazy with those thick ass eyelashes on. Where you going, girl? To the grocery store? And ladies, if you put glue in your eyes, I'm pretty sure nothing good will come from that in the long run. So once again, wigs, eyelashes, and fake bodies make you look like a transgender man trying to be a uh, what? Hold on. <laughs> but in 2020, who cares about things like that? Whatever we were born doesn't even matter anymore. You could be, like I said yesterday, Oh, it wasn't to you guys. I'm sorry. I digress. I am now identifying as a white woman. I want all the benefits, but none of the smoke. So when you refer to me now, refer to me as great white woman flex, okay? As you see from this pale skin down to 10, I am clearly white. You didn't see I got lighter since it got colder? I must be Caucasian. And now I identify as Caucasian. It's 2020. If a man could be born a man and turn into a woman, why can't I be born black and say I want to be white? I identify better that way. So go down below, holla at your girl. Tell me what you think about my thoughts on men, women, the same, especially if you're trans. <laughs> Tell me what you think down below. And don't forget to support the channel, because you know, I'm a broke ass bitch. Don't let this shirt fool you, broke ass bitch. <laughs> Peace. Out.